All right, guys. I thought I would uh, make another video to show you guys some of my vintage poster finds. Um, I started uh, collecting some vintage posters recently, and once realizing that they're worth money, these are obviously not my posters. These are just collection of my old newspapers that I have. Um, but I don't want to give away all the posters yet. I want to do them one at a time. So <clears throat> we're gonna first start with. These early 50s Smokey the Bear U.S. Forestry posters. Now, these are kind of smaller. You can see they're smaller, but um, since they're early 50s, I grabbed them, and, I, you know, I got most of these for pretty cheap. I think they came out to be, like, the equivalent of $7 each. So this one is pretty cool. These are in fairly rough shape. Um... So they're not really money makers, but I just thought they were neat. Someone who's into uh, environmentalism will probably dig these. So there's that one. It's pretty, real early 50s looking. For the tree is man's life. Okay, so there's that one. <clears throat> and here's the next one. Classic Smokey the Bear. Please, only you can prevent forest fires. Condition of this one's actually not bad. There's a little hole there. But, um, pretty cool artwork on here. Again, early to mid-50s. <clears throat> Here's another one. Now we're starting to get to the recognizable imagery. Another Smokey the Bear. That one's got a bad tear up there. But if you put it in a frame, I think it's still pretty neat to have. Okay, we're going to move down to the last one. This one's got a big tear on the top. But, again, Smokey praying with all his little woodland friends. So those are pretty cool. I'm starting with the uh, what I consider the least valuable and moving my way up. So, there's those ones. Then I uh, found this guy, real big. This might be one of my favorites. So this is kind of a anti-war protest poster, I would guess. The date on this one is 1966. Fly far, far east airways. This vacation, visit beautiful Vietnam. So from what I understand, this one is actually a um, blacklight poster. The ones I've seen online, they have it listed as a blacklight poster. It doesn't look like it, but... I don't have a black light to test it, but I love this one. The condition's pretty good, and it just has cool, cool artwork on there. Kind of an ironic thing, too, you know, visit beautiful Vietnam, and they're just fighting. So <clears throat> that one I love. That one's great. A lot of these came from the same estate sale. Okay, here's another one. Oakland Raiders World Champions, 1977. I found one of these for sale online, and the guy is asking $250. This one is in excellent condition. There's, well, there's a couple of little tears on the bottom where he had put it, where he had uh, pinned it up on the wall, but really cool. You see Madden there. Awesome. Awesome for a Raiders collector. There was also another couple posters that I got there which I've already sold. There was a, a 60s concert poster of the Yardbirds. Um, that one sold pretty fast. It wasn't super valuable because it wasn't from a super popular venue. It was just a local music hall in Danville, but that was a cool one. All right, now the, the big one that I found at this estate sale, well, I'll wait till the end for that one, but I'll show you a couple others. This, this isn't a poster, but this <coughs> is the original blueprint for a park right near where I grew up signed the original blueprint and it's dated 1956 so I thought that was pretty neat so I grabbed it and threw it in a frame it just looks cool you can see the rough edges it had been in a tube for a long time and you can see there were actually some changes made the park doesn't have some of this stuff, like the archery range is no longer there. 
So pretty neat. Okay. <clears throat> that one we're not really going to talk about. This I found recently, and this isn't so much of a poster as a, it, it's a print from a really cool Austrian artist who, although he was a quarter Jewish, he was actually enlisted. He, he was uh, drafted into Hitler's army during World War II and spent many years in a Russian POW camp and then later became um, a really amazing artist. So this is a 28 out of 200 sign. You can see there's a little water damage on the bottom, but I, I still think it's a really cool image, really cool painting, and it's uh, it's pretty big, so I like that. Okay, now we're going to finally get to this one. Now this baby, when I saw it, I knew that it was something special. So <clears throat> this, I actually recently put it in this frame. It's, I don't know if I like the frame too much. It's, it's plexiglass and it's very reflective, but whatever. Most of you who know about vintage posters will recognize this one. This is uh, Jimi Hendrix, The Experience. And it's uh, Joe Roberts Jr. Condition is not terrible. Some cracking in the image, and there's this little spot, a couple tack holes in the corners. But overall, pretty beautiful condition. And this is again a black light poster, so it's a it's a early '60s black light poster. If you turn the black light on it, it will glow, and it's just so nice. And these posters are pretty highly sought after. Um, this one's actually for sale on eBay, on my, my eBay store. Really cool. They, they actually sell, if you go on eBay, this poster is, is, is so famous that they sell little refrigerator magnets of this, this exact poster. So, anyway, that's about it, guys. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to leave you guys with that. Hope you enjoyed the video. Later.